Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on how to make your virtual events irresistible. Today, it's a tutorial on how to share a video with good quality and sound with your Zoom meetings for your virtual events, for your meetings, for your conferences, for whatever you're using Zoom for. How can you share a good quality video with good sound? I'm going to share my screen and you're going to see me small and I'm going to show you how to do it. Hi, and welcome to the Irresistible Marketing Lab YouTube channel. My name is Ana Andrea and I will be your host. In this channel, you will learn how to create momentum in your business by designing virtual events with automated communication. You will also find tutorials on digital marketing strategies and my favorite tools so that you can make a bigger impact in this world. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, you can see me twice. I'm here on Zoom and I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see what you have to do and what you have to click in order to share that video with good sound. We go here to the share screen option. We click there and we're gonna get this screen. Now, this is already ticked, but you gotta make sure here at the bottom left corner where it says share sound and optimize for video clip. It has to be selected, okay? now. The next thing we have to do is we have to go to advanced and there's two ways to share video. The first way is from a video that's downloaded to your hard drive in the computer or on a external hard drive that's connected to the computer. It's going to open, I'm going to show you when we click here on video and share. It's going to open this, which is your computer. So you can have an external hard drive connected and pull it from there. You can share it from your iCloud or from your computer. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this video to show you. I click here on open. And we see here the video. Now, we go here to the bottom and click on the green here on the arrow. So this moves to the top. It doesn't bother us. And we just go here where it says you are sharing your screen. And if we put the mouse over it, it gets this arrow and it shows what you're screen sharing, it says, and it's telling you what you're sharing. So you don't need to make this bigger or smaller or whatever. It's not necessary. You just have to make sure that you play it and that's it. Virtual event that it See? That's it. You just play it and it's going to be sharing. And then once you stop the share, you just go back. And this is the best way to share your video with high quality sound and high quality resolution. The next type of sharing I'm going to show you is with a portion of your screen. Now, this is an option and that is not perfect because it's not a rectangle if you don't want to share your whole desktop. And then the last option, I'll show you how to do it successfully with sharing your screen and good resolution with the video. So this is not as optimal as having it directly from your hard drive or an external hard drive connected. The other option is to share your screen. That would be the last option, but you got to make sure that you click at the bottom, share sound and optimize for video clip when you use that. Let me show you to share the screen with the portion of the screen option so that you only show the video. This is how you do it. You click here on portion of screen, Make sure that the share sound and the optimize for video clip is checked. And then we click here on share. Now, if you see here, and we're going to select the video I wanted to show. And here, this green box is the portion of the screen you're showing. Now, how do we see what they are seeing? We go here to where it says to the dock and the green bar here that says you're screen sharing. And we click here on the arrow that shows up. Do you see that? Do you see how the whole video shows up? Put it right here. Almost all the video shows up. Okay, we can't make it. It's not perfect. This is all the options they have right now. I'm sure there's going to have ways to fix it in the future, but that's how it is. So let me play it. So that's how you share a portion of the screen only. And they don't get distracted with the rest. The last option to share, you got to make sure that you make the video bigger. So just with sharing screen on the basic, we can go to desktop, 
like we normally use so that people see it in full screen and the sound is okay and we share it only with our basic features is desktop. You got to optimize the video to make sure that it's really well even if we have the optimized for a video clip here selected. So you can full screen it. We have to select the desktop one. We click on share. And as you can see here again, to see what people are seeing, we got to go here to the green bar and click on here. That's where people see the whole website. We don't want that. We want the full screen. So if I click here, the full screen goes on and then we play the video. You... Okay, so that's how you do it. That's how you share video with high quality and sound. Those are the three ways that you can do it. My top one is the first one. And I showed you my last option, the third one, because there's a break and like you had to enlarge it and, and they see other things. Whereas if you have the video right there, what's going to happen is that there's no distractions. They just see the video and they just see you play it. Choose the better option. If we don't have that option because we don't have enough space in the hard drive, get some space, invest some space. That's one thing. If you cannot at the moment, then do the second option. And then the third option is the last option, okay? Because we don't want people to get distracted with all of your other stuff. We got to give them a seamless experience. I hope that you like this video. And if you like this tutorial, comment below what else you want to learn from Zoom. I love to use Zoom for my virtual events and I advocate to using Zoom in your virtual events. You don't have to spend on very fancy software. If you're not a big corporation, you don't need to do that. If you're a coach and an expert, a speaker that wants to learn more about how to do their own virtual events, and if you need extra help as well, you can go to irresistiblemarketinglab.com, grab my checklist, it's free. It comes with a six video training, six weeks of training that are going to come to your email with a video that helps you move the needle on your checklist. So it supports you getting to do the checklist. Go there. And if you want to get my planner, you see it right there. You can find it on Amazon. Just search Create Irresistible Virtual Events and it's going to be there. Or my name, Ana Andrea Martinez, and you will find me. I hope that you like this. And if you did, make sure to comment, subscribe, share, because sharing is caring. I will see you in the next one. God bless you. Bye-bye. Check out my latest videos or what's recommended here and subscribe to my channel.